Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The first thing that you got to make sure for this project, or that I got to make sure for this project, is to make sure that my battery is working, okay? Good afternoon, YouTube. My name is Gino, and um, once again, I'm back with another video, and today I will be installing a USB charger on my motorcycle, okay? So, um, it's critical that your battery is working and not dead. So I gotta make sure by doing, by starting my vehicle, my motorcycle, that I that my battery is working, so that when I install the uh, USB charger, I wouldn't have to wonder why it's not working later on when I test it. Okay. Enjoy this, and uh, I will go on with the project right now. All right. So we have our package here that arrived today, and. Uh, Let's go take a look at it, okay? These guys are pretty good in packing their uh, items. So when they are packing, they make sure that this bad boy doesn't go anywhere. All right. Just take a look if there's some items in there. So here you have it. What we have here right now is a quad lock motorcycle USB charger, okay? So you're gonna be using this kind of USB charger if you still want to have a cable your charging cable to go with this uh, USB charger. They have two types of charger. One is wireless and one is obviously this, a USB charger. Why did I choose the USB charger vice the wireless charger? That is because I have to consider the other gadgets that aren't capable of doing wireless charging. I have an iPhone 11 and that is capable of wireless charging. So what if I have other gadgets that I need to use a C type, um, Android type, or obviously iOS type of uh, cable, then um, that wireless charger will not be capable of doing that for all so there's going to be a single point failure right there for me whereas if i have a usb charger i can use the other cables to charge with okay so that's just my simple logic about it so i chose to do the usb charger okay and this particular usb charger will be attached with my existing um quad lock items that's uh that's already there okay so let's take a look at what's inside this okay that okay always pretty good at having stickers so they got that sticker right there so as you can see stickers all bent already so that's that and then you have your instruction and then you have your charger right here and this charger is or comes with cables it says here attention mount charger with USB port facing down to allow water and dirt to drain okay all right thanks so there's a little plastic that's holding that over there. Okay, let's get that out of there. Let's get this out. Let's get that out. 
So there's a combination of two cables here. So this is the one that goes straight to the battery. Okay, red and black. And then this is the one that's gonna run under somewhere down there in the motorcycle and it will be attached to this afterwards and this is going to go on to the uh, handlebar mount okay so simple got the screw right there let's put this thing back so it doesn't get uh, contaminated or whatever okay and the screw right here goes there so should be a fairly simple process okay i'm excited so um yeah i good thing the other day or last week or so i was able to learn how to um take the take my um fairings apart so i'll be able to run the wires easily now okay so uh let's go ahead and uh start on with this All right, guys, so I finally made up my mind on how I want my charger to be positioned, okay? Trust me that this took probably longer than the entire installation will be, okay? So here's the logic, right? There are two ways that you can install this, or there are many ways you can install this. First, you can just install this thing and, I don't know, zip tie it anywhere, where you want to position this thing to be okay you can have even have it inside your compartment if you want to but you know you don't want to do that because the charge you got to open your seat and the whole nine okay anyway so here's the thing you can have this behind this um locking mechanism and it will be right there okay and then you can charge it by going this way, okay? But there's also a note there to make sure that um, the water, you just, you know, get it or place it upside down so that the water will drain out and stuff, which is, which makes a whole lot of sense. So therefore, the position that you need, ideal position that you need to put this thing is going this way, okay? So like that. So when you charge your phone while you're riding, you can have it right there, charging it, and um, you'll be good to go. For me, this would be too heavy. And I would rather position it down here before it gets to the stem, okay? So it's not too heavy because you will already have the phone here and you would also have the charger here, the whole nine and um, somebody yanks it, the whole setup falls apart, you know? So I'd rather put it right here, okay? So that's my ideal spot. Obviously, I'm not gonna put it this way while down here because you don't want that to be exposed with the rain or whatever, but if you got it down here, when the rain comes or whatever, it's just gonna drip down, drip down, drip down, um, and um, hopefully it doesn't wet this wire or whatever, I don't know, but uh, that's just how I envision this thing to be, okay? So, the first thing that we're gonna do is position this, okay? And then we will run the cable later, okay? Because um, I think that, I, you know, your ideal position starts first. So let's do that, okay? Let me undo this. I don't even know if it's gonna work, but um, we'll see. Boy, I got this thing so tight. Okay. It's coming out though. Okay, if this becomes too short, 
they have provided a longer one right here so oops there goes that one so let's take that out and position this okay so that's how I, I want mine to look like okay and then you're gonna follow up with this okay that locks in place perfectly and then you have this okay looks like it's getting there it looks so much longer but um, we'll see Okay, so just like how I envisioned it, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and commit and tighten this thing up here. Okay, so that's pretty tight. So now, when I'm charging, I will have to run my cable going up like this. Damn, okay, so, and then it would go connect to my phone right here, okay? So, that's how I want to position this, okay? thick part right here okay so one more okay I'm glad I've tightened this thing up already or else I won't be able to get through there okay so this is good this is good okay so now I have this cable to run down to the battery okay and that's the next step okay so we have this good to go so I can still make adjustments here without messing around with this okay so I can literally start zip tying things here just to secure this uh, cable but let's not do that yet okay so I want to do this thing one thing at a time okay so Positioning, we are good to go. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to attach the cable to the battery. Okay. So in order to do that, you have to first unlock your compartment. Okay. Once you unlock that, take off both the uh, seat pieces okay and then locate your battery okay so just undo this latch right here remove the tool bag okay set it aside and then um, this is your battery right here, and this is your the this is what uh, holds the battery in place. It's a bracket. You can just turn it with your hand. It'll come off. Okay. All right. Okay. So these are the pieces that you're taking off. Make sure you put it back the same way as you did it. Okay. All right, so right here, 
right away you can attach this okay red goes to red and black goes to black okay so we can do that now and try not to make the mistake of having this thing exposed while this thing is already attached here okay um, basically it's an open wire but you can you can hardly reach the inside of it but I'm just saying like if you dip this thing in the water accidentally dip in the water you're you're gonna be having a problem okay anyway so that's where that goes okay and once that's uh, done you can just connect it but I have to make sure I drive this thing down here somewhere okay so that would be the next step that we're gonna do okay in order to do that properly is you have to remove this fairing back here okay or you can do it over there too but I'd rather do it here okay so let's do that this thing out of the way first okay so Allen wrench Okay, hand unscrew that. This one. Here. Okay. Don't forget these two. And then use this Allen key right here to remove the screw that you have here. Just be careful because you might scratch the uh, fairings. Okay, once that's done, you can just hand unscrew it. That's a screw for that. Okay. It wasn't too long ago, so I should be able to undo this without any problem. Oops. Yeah, I gotta undo that. I think that is a size 10.
All right, so that should be it. gonna pop what's back here okay that plastic tab this plastic tab right here <clears throat> and you are in there you are deep in there okay so let me move the camera on this side okay All right, so we are going to go let's start from here okay if I'm gonna zip tie this thing here to drop right around here somewhere let me get a seat So this sucks that I got three black zip ties and I will have a gang load of this white one and obviously I'm going to put the white ones where it's not visible, okay? And I'm going to put the black ones where it's visible, okay? So let us not make a mistake. Alright, so that goes. Should I just, just drop that right there? Or we go. Anyway, let's just do this. Okay, put it around the neck. Ooh, my coolant's low. So it was in there, it goes in there, under the tank, first zip tie is going to be here, okay, white.
don't tighten it up so much yet guys leave yourself some room for mistakes okay so that's good and then I want that to go straight out here under under and then come in here okay I think that would be perfect okay under there that's gonna be another zip tie right there <coughs> Very, very close. There you go. I think that's straight right there, man. I gotta secure this thing somewhere in here. There's a little clue here that I should put one in here too. Okay, let's see. One in here. There you go. There you go. So I'm gonna put you there too. Okay. Okay. So that's good. So now we need the black for up here. All right, guys, part of me is saying this to go over here and get with the other wires. So, um, <coughs> just do that now while we still have these things untied up. Okay, just do it again, do it again, do it again. It's all right. 
At least we already know where we're going. It's still good. See, this is what I mean about leaving yourself space and don't tighten it up yet. Okay. That's it right there. This is what I mean. Go over here and join the rest of these wires. Put a zip tie. Okay, good. Zip tie there. Put through here. Again. Again. sweat we're done again okay so zip tie right there zip tie right there zip tie right here All right, should we be tightening things up now? Let's do this first. Enough slack. Does he have enough slack? Let's give him enough slack. Let's tie this guy together. commitment guys okay Almost there. Let me zip tie this thing right here. Mm. And we are in. So as you can see, we still have a lot of slack right here, which is good enough, 
straight, probably like a, a foot or something. Um, that's what we're going to connect to the battery, okay? All right, guys. <coughs> so we're finally here. I'm going to tell you this thing right now that electrical is not my strongest suit. But this isn't too heavy of a, an electrical deal, okay? Still, do not underestimate it. The things that you need to remember before you st start touching something that has an alternating current or a, even a direct current is to make sure that you have something on that you're not touching the ground bare okay meaning to say i'm wearing a slippers i should be wearing shoes safety shoes that's the answer to that question however that's what i got on right now so guys here is the moment of truth so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, start put it on ignition everything seems to be working and um, we're gonna test out plugged in plugged in and um, this is it here's the moment of truth we'll find out if this bad boy is gonna be working ah there you go it says charging you can tell by that icon that it's charging. All right. Seems like we have a success. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that um, you don't want to be part of the cleanup or the uh, putting back together party. So. Um, success so guys as you can see our installation of the uh, USB charger was uh, pretty successful and um, I'm I hope that you guys picked up something out of uh, this uh, tutorial installation and um, you know thanks for following thanks for all those who are subscribed and thank you for all those who just subscribed Please stay subscribed and uh, follow, uh, like, and share, okay? All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.